Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G and I'm Funkin' Hungry. In this video, we're gonna try Nong Shim Onion Flavoured Rings. So I know a certain subscriber has wanted me to do this for a long time, let's just say. So shout out to Captain Caveman. Captain Caveman! I'll leave the nutrition information on screen if you want to take a look. I'll leave the ingredients on screen if you want to pause and go through that. But like always, we'll go through the basic ingredients. Flour, onion, 23%. Starches, corn, salt, potato granules, flavours. Flavour enhancer, 635, 640, colour 101, and sweetener, 960. Allergy information contains wheat, produced in a facility that also processes product that contains crustacean, eggs, fish, fish products, milk, peanuts, and soy bean. Storage requirements, keep in a cool, dry place. Australia, imported by Nong Shim Australia. So these are made in Korea. So Nong Shim Co is a Korean company. I have tried some of their noodles on the channel before. But let's bust these open and give them a taste and see if Caveman's right. Okay, so this is what the onion flavored rings look like. They actually look like real onion rings before you deep fry them. Let's give it a funkin' hungry sniff sniff. This one is for you, caveman. Captain caveman! Okay, so they just smell like corn snacks, really, with a little hint of onion. Now, I am going into this pretty hyped because caveman reckons this is one of his favorite chips or snacks. It does have 23% onion. This is what they look like. Let's give them a try. Cheers, caveman. Mm. Has a nice texture to it. it. Has a nice crunch. It does have a nice onion flavor, but I do feel like they're lacking a little bit. I know they are an onion ring, but a lot of other chips have some spices, or, you know, some other flavours to jazz it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know about this one. It is nice, but it is a little bit bland as well. It's kind of like more of a snack that a, you know, a baby would have. <laughs> it's nice. It has a little bit of saltiness and a little bit of sweetness to it. It does have a nice onion flavour coming through. So it does definitely have that onion flavour and that's all you sort of get. But yeah, I don't know. It just feels a little bit bland for me, to be honest. I was born in England, so we have Monster Munch in England. And it is a pickled onion flavour. And we do have Space Raiders as well. And they have a pickled onion flavour. Basically, pickled onion is pretty popular in England. And it just, I don't know, I feel like it does have a nice onion flavour. But with the pickled onion flavour, you do get that nice sour hit as well. So you get the onion flavour, but you get the sour hit. And I just feel like this is missing, you know, maybe some paprika, some spice, maybe, I don't know. Obviously you do want the onion flavour, and you do want it to be an onion ring, but I just feel that it's missing something. And it's probably because I'm used to the sourness from a pickled onion. Have to say though, super cool packaging. Really like that packaging, you know, the colors, the little characters. Flip it over and we got DJ Yang. Good old DJ Yang's on the ones and twos. You know, he's, he's loving life, but yeah, sorry DJ Yang. These are a little bit bland. So my rating for Nong Shim onion flavored rings Sorry, but I'm going to have to give them a four and a half out of ten. I feel like these are a little bit below average. It's a nice little snack. It does have a nice crunch to it. You do get quite a lot in the bag. But I just feel like it's missing, you know, a little bit of flavor. It does have the onion. So it's a nice onion flavor. The onion isn't too strong. I'd say it's kind of just slightly above a mild onion flavor. 
but I just feel like for me, me personally, my taste buds, I need just something else in here. You know, it's got a little bit of saltiness, it's got a little bit of sweetness, it's got the onion flavour, but yeah, I'm not sure that me personally I'd go out there and get these again. Really to me, this is probably more for kids, really. Sorry, caveman. <laughs> Being a Korean snack, I just thought, you know, it would be, I don't know, what I was expecting. But I was just super pumped for this. It just feels like something like, you know, a toddler would be eating. But the price rating for these, these I got from Amazon, I think for $1.95 or something like that. You can get them from Woolworths as well in the imported section, you know, like the Asian section. They're two dollars from there, so I feel two dollars this day and age for what is it, fifty grams? But it's quite a lot in here. You know, two dollars this day and age is pretty good for a bag of chips of this size. I'm gonna give that a price rating of eight out of ten. I feel like this is a pretty good price if you do like your onion rings. If you do like sort of you know something a little bit more bland, you know. This is just my opinion at the end of the day, and I try to explain it as much as I can. People do like more bland food. Some people don't like, you know, a lot of chili or a lot of salt or, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but, but this is definitely something if you want to introduce it to a child, you know, introduce onion flavour. This is definitely the way to go. If, but anyway, if you tried Nong Shim onion flavoured rings, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. I'd love to hear your opinions. Do you think they're super califragilistic expiala onion ring? Or if they're just, you know, kind of like me, just like, I'll probably be leaving these. I'll eat the rest of the bag, but I won't be buying them again. Sorry. But also, if you're like Caveman and you have a recommendation for me to try, let me know as well in the comments below if you want me to try. Obviously, I'll have to see if I can find it. But if there's a, a snack in your country, a chip, a snack, a biscuit, a chocolate, whatever, let me know below and I'll try and see if I can do a review for you. And I'll try not to take as long as I did with these. Sorry, caveman. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. This was G from Funkin' Hungry and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.